<sighs> good morning, everybody. I know. I know. Looking good. Don't be jealous. Anyway, it, I, we are back from our trip. And today, before I have lots of clients coming up and weddings, I really like to take this time to um, kind of get back in the swing of things. Laundry. Closet. Um, going through the toys that they got and um, the clothes that they got. And really just going through that stuff. And I have a donate bag, I have a trash bag, and I'll have another pile as well that I can, I like to divvy up. Sometimes I like to give some clothes to our parents' houses so they have some clothes for the boys. Um, but anything that is not their size, um, not ripped or stained, like it's going to be either donated, we're gonna get it so they have outfits and they don't just have a ton of clothes. Uh, boys are very rough on their clothes. So there's some stuff that's not even worth donating. So anyway, but I will make sure that if it is um, able to be donated, then it will be. And um, so I'm gonna go through that and I'm going to take you along. I actually enjoy decluttering and organizing. So I am going to kind of go through this. We'll kind of tackle this together. I'll kind of show you um, how I do it, what helps me because it feels good to purge and especially with the new year, after Christmas, after yada yada. It's needed, it's necessary. So, um, yeah, we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna put on a show, organize this stuff. I'm trying to do this by Isaac is napping and Eli is downstairs playing with family. Um, get it in when you can. So anyway, I'm gonna do the closet first and their clothes, that's the biggest thing. Then I've already kind of done their toys, but we'll go over that again. And then probably their changing table. Just little things that kind of help. And then that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy. Some of my favorite things that I have that I use for the boys. So this Willow Garlic Ear Oil. I use this um, on a cotton swab or put a dot in their ear. Um, really helps prevent ear infections. Absolutely love it. Um, this is what I use for Eli, which is Focus. Um, it really helps him do as it says, Focus. And it just makes it so he can just calm down. I also have a kid's um, CBD oil. For children and it just gives you the right dosage it gives it flavor um, and this really helps him a lot too I mean he's a he's a toddler like he's a boy he's just extra hooper so anything I can do to help with him to just kind of be able to relax a little bit and calm down because it gets frustrating for him and for me <laughs> this is a rollerball of focus so we, we do a lot of focus here a lot of focusing <laughs> no this is just really helpful to kind of calm this also is soothing for nap times and things like that I did a blend in here and put the label on it and these labels are so cute. Um, and they say what they are on them. That, and then, uh, I don't know why I have this in here, but I love to use pan away in our diffuser. So, love, love, love. Um, so yeah, that's some stuff that I've got in here that I'm loving right now that I use for them. This, also this, real quick. This here, this Shea Moisture. Smells amazing, and it's actually super hydrating for their skin and really works well. I find a lot of them just kind of... Um, they're too like watery, they're, they don't do anything. This one's actually like a shea butter and it does really help the skin. So, love this one. So, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna stack everything nicely in here so I have everything. This is just some um, ointment that kind of helps trap um, the moisture into their skin. Butt paste, I mean, come on. Need I say more? Put all this stuff in here so I have access to it. I like to organize it in here. Um, just so I can easily access it and usually it's when like after bath time and it's kind of like It's when I need it. Also, I keep this in here because in the bath um, If they get water in their ears, he was doing swimming lessons But if they get water in their ears in the bathtub you squirt this and it dries the water right out of their ears so You don't have to worry about an ear infection or anything like that. So these are just things that I usually end up doing um, Before bed so that's why I keep everything in here so I kind of know where to go back and get it because I don't know about you, but I'm constantly searching for things and so I find that it's just easier for me to just keep it all in one spot and that's where I kind of go to to find all that. Um, some Q-tips. Um, 
things like that. What else do I have in here? But I love this stuff is actually really great. Um, this Maddie's Organic Cough Syrup, super, super good. They have one for morning, for daytime, and for night. Um, this is another fantastic thing. I usually don't like to suppress the cough, but since this one has these ingredients in it, this actually breaks up the cough in their chest and doesn't allow it to settle. So that's why I like that. It does soothe as well, but it also makes it so, um, it breaks it up. So it's not just sitting there. Um, and then baby powder. I don't use baby powder. I've got this for their baby shower. <laughs> okay. I don't have this. I should probably just give that away. Anyway, I love these bins. I got these. I don't know where. I think Home Goods. And then I got these from Target when they were super cheap. And they're like a dollar. They just help me keep everything super organized. I'm going to dump all that excess in there. They help me keep everything super organized. So as you see in here, what I do is I have. These are just for nighttime for Eli. Um, that's why there's not so many. I'm going to stack these nicely too. But I put... The diapers in these little things. Here, let me show you a second. I'm going to organize this real quick. And it just helps kind of keep them contained, even though that's not what it looks like right now. Um, it helps me store them. And these things were, I seriously, like a dollar, I think, a piece, these blue things. So that's why Eli's is so low, because those are for nighttime for him. Those are Isaac's. And then what I do is I put this basket in the center here like that so I have everything stacked so nicely so I can just grab it this actually was not a changing table this is my entertainment center <laughs> for the longest time so it's got these mirrored windows it's really cute not entertainment center it was a server like a bar server kind of thing where I had when you walked in the front entrance but you know your kids take everything so naturally they took my one of my favorite pieces of furniture this is like one of the only cloth diapers that I have that doesn't get a ton of use just because I don't know I you know, bless your hearts if you can do it. I just don't think that I've, I, that's not one thing I want to take on. So, being completely honest. Um, so yeah, so this is how this stays. Um, which is just really helpful because I put, usually there's swimmies down there, but obviously it's summertime, so I don't. Extra Q-tips back there. I'll put the cloth diaper in here too, just because I don't have where else to put it. And then I'm going to throw all this trash away. What is this here? Go right in, separate towel. Okay, we'll put that in there. Sure, why not? But I just have access to it. You know, it's easy to just reach down and grab it in here. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of what I have going on in here. And this is just super easy to keep clean. But it is something that gets really out of control really quickly just because I throw stuff in and out. But the boys come in here too and pull out the diapers. And <laughs> they're just fantastic little children. Um, and then I also have this cart, which I am going to be organizing again. Um, I love, I keep the diffuser on here. I attach some of his, um, Isaac's bibs on here. Um, it had the Christmas tree on it, so usually I put, like, my oils to diffuse, um, but I'm going to kind of go through this and make it, lovely trash can, um, a little spot. Um, I like to put things at the bottom because the kids really like to just take things out, put things in, and honestly, that's fine with me. It keeps them occupied. It's, yeah, it gets to be messy, but honestly, it's just, they enjoy it, so. Have at it, children. So I'm just going to put some stuff down here that they can take in and out. Um, but then I'll kind of figure out what I want to do here. I'll probably put some of the kids' oils in here again. Um, in the top so they can't reach them. Well, Isaac. I don't have to worry about Eli. But Isaac, for sure. So this is this cart. It, we, it rolls. I absolutely love it. I had one in our room, too. And they're just fantastic. I think they're like $30 at Target. And they're my favorite. Just a great organizer for any room in your house. So that's what I'm going to do now with this. books down here. For, um, I don't function well when there's a lot of clutter. I don't. Mm -hmm. I look worse than that, believe it or not. So I'm going to put all their markers in here. The stuff that gets like taken out of where it should be. <laughs> Kids! Um, I just kind of find it and then I put it in a separate pile of like things that need to be reassigned. It seems to go in the bookshelf. But not in here. Um, I don't need him coloring in here. So yeah, so just what I have right now for this. So like I've got the books, masks, and a couple of toys down there. Empty. Empty. I usually have wipes up here, but I have them from traveling. So I'll put the wipes up here because I can just grab them really easily. Listen, I'm all about convenience as much as as much as possible. And you just it honestly happens by figuring it out. Like once it, I remember before I had kids and I was getting the nurseries ready and stuff like that. 
I was like, oh, I think I need this here and this, that. It wasn't until you had kids that you realize how the order of things move, what's convenient, what's not, what's necessity and what's not. Like, I mean, uh, look at this head. These are all baby hairs, by the way. Like, I can't tame these. These are all just new hair. Yeah. So I've got like a little pile over here that I'm going to be probably selling some of this stuff too, just because it's so gently used. Um, I'm really not, I usually just give it away. I don't like to take the hassle, do the hassle of trying to sell it. But some of the stuff is really, really great and never used. So, um, Mama paid a lot of monies for it. <laughs> so I'm just putting the toys back. And then I've got to find a spot to put his cutie stuff, which I love. These are, this is the cutie teether. And then this is the cutie clip, and this is the cutie pat. So it's like a teether and a pacifier in one. So he's got a couple of these, so I'm just gonna find a place to put these eventually. More books, put these down here. I'm sorry, my head's out of it. I mean, again, I don't have my tripod, so my arms are killing me from my workout the other day. Okay, down here. So they can have fun with that. So now that that's done, empty the crib. Do you need to get rid of that crib too? Um, and now it's just going to go through their bins and their closet. There's a lot of clothes. There's a lot of clothes. ID network in the background. The other thing is cleaning an ID network in the back. If, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's Investigation Discovery. It's all about cold cases, murders, investigations. It's fantastic. So, I am just, I mean... So, yeah. Now I'm going to go through the clothes, so. So like I said, anything that is not their size is being donated, if it's good enough. I'll put a pile of like extra clothes that I want to bring to my um, parents' house, both of our parents' house to have for the boys. Um, that's not going to be a lot, I'm not going to load them down with that stuff, but it's nice for them to have that so I don't have to worry about packing all that if they stay over, if, they, if they're watching them, and they appreciate it too. And then, um, if it's not, you know trash if they're really damaged which some of them already are I can see and I try to get those stains out like 10 times so anyway so now we do the clothes hang great anyway here we go Okay, so this is the closet after. Poor Isaac. Where are all his clothes? <laughs> so, this is Eli up here, which is lots of shirts. I still haven't gone through and pulled out the ones that I'm going to put at our parents' house. Um, but at least I know now what I have. Um, there's their most, they're missing their tennis shoes. But those are their shoes. I've got my milk snob cover over here, an extra one. 
I've got this extra blanket up here in my ring sling for Isaac. I have um, his cutie clips and utensils in here. Um, what I like to do is I like to use these bins as organizers. I don't have a dresser for them because I just like to keep in my houses. Like I like space. So usually I just keep everything in the closet so that way I don't have more dressers. And dressers are just dangerous. Like my kids like to just climb on everything. So if I can, normally I have a door. But what I like to do is I like to keep all their stuff in their closet so it's not easy for them to get to. So I usually have the roommates. I usually have labels on these too. So like so daddy or whoever because I'm the one who's putting stuff away all the time so it's like I know where things go but normally I have labels on them like I have that swimwear one down there I have to make new ones though so all of Eli's underwear shorts because we use shorts first and pants so I kind of like to go in the order and usually I put underwear on first so naturally I put things on in order so that way if, even if Eli needs to get something I like that method. So I have underwear, shorts, because that's the primary thing we go towards, and then pants at the bottom. Then I have pajamas up here, socks, and other miscellaneous things in here, and then swimwear. Um, and it's all very, like, there's not a ton of pant. Like, it's just what he needs, right? Same with Isaac. So I have, for Isaac, just pajamas up here, which he's grown out of all of his. So he's got two. Um, his pants, which he has, like, no shorts. I don't understand. One pair of shorts, but I don't, I don't know. Anyway, this is why we do this. We know what we need. And then I have, he's also born in winter, so that's just why this poor child. I also have a lot of laundry to do, so some of it's missing. But I have all his new, so these are 24 months. So typically what I like to do is I like to do um, tank tops, short sleeve, long sleeve, dress shirts, sweaters, jackets. Okay, I just like to move in that order. Just because we live in Florida too, and I'm never going back for things back here. So let me show you Eli's because it's a little bit easier to look at here. So. I have tank tops up front here, which are just like our summer go-to, like from Old Navy and other like Walmart, like just super cheap. You can mess them up, whatever. That's what I have in the front. Then I have t-shirts and jerseys and stuff here. Like this, these collared shirts should be back here. Let me dress here. Hang on. So I got all his like play shirts here, right? Just t-shirts. Then we get back here to some long sleeve shirts which I think I want to put, so collared shirts and button downs are going to go like right here next to each other. Which I actually want these guys in front. Sorry as I'm doing my organization as I talk to you guys. So I just like to move in this, you can color coordinate if you want, you can do like colors. I just like to have tank tops, short sleeve shirts, just kind of play shirts. Then we have like dressier shirts coming back into here that he can wear to church and things. Long sleeves dressy long sleeves, sweaters, and jackets. So that kind of, that's how I operate. And I like to have things that kind of do my closet, I do my closet the same way. Um, for me, it just makes it a lot easier. Uh, I've got the shoes up there. This bin, I've been, because I've consolidated so much stuff, this bin over here just is like some toys I need to go through, but that's just gonna have to wait for another day. So, lots of stuff. I have a trash bag, two giveaway bags. <laughs> the stuff in here is just mine and Danny's. So the crib is cleaned out. <laughs> so I had stuff in there too. This is the stuff I want to sell. I've got big boxes of diapers. I've got two more giant boxes of diapers from Isaac's birthday party, which I'm so thankful for. Like that is my favorite thing to get is diapers and wipes for their birthdays and Christmas because that helps a mama out so much. I'm not to buy. I'm not gonna have to buy Isaac diapers for probably like six more months it's just such a blessing such a blessing so that's after so I'm sure I mean if you just skip back to the beginning like it's a lot better than it was a lot better than it was and I feel so much better the changing table is cleaned out my carts cleaned out the hamper is filled with what I need my I can see the floor it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing so that was that there's still more that could be done in there, but I like to move in increments like that. I like to do declutter. I like to take one room at a time. I focus on one room at a time. Once I get that done, I shut that door and I move on to the next one. It just really helps not feel so overwhelmed and chaotic in my opinion, because um, it does. It gets really overwhelming. Like you feel like, oh my gosh, I've got bathrooms a mess, blah, blah, blah. Well, what I do is I walk into that room and I see what needs to be done and I 
clean that room to the best of my ability and then I move on. So there's like little things in the sides of the closet uh, and some clothes I need to kind of go through it as well or kind of figure out if I'm going to keep them for Isaac or I'm going to donate them. But it's already piled like that. I just need to make the decision if I'm going to put them in a rubber bean container and save them or if I'm going to donate them. So that's easy. So that's done. This is probably really boring, but I find I like these things. I think they're satisfying to watch. I like the help. I like, like I said, I like to take all the tips and tricks that I can. Um, and that's what I said. So I like to also take, so from this, now that I know what I need, I'm able to say, okay, well, Isaac needs some shorts. So I'm able to now go to the store and be like, okay, I need a neutral pair of shorts. I need two neutral pairs. I like to have a khaki or a black or a, both or a, a denim and something. So I, after I do all my laundry, after I've cleaned that out, I take inventory of what I need, what the boys need. And then I'm able to go to the store and purchase what I need and not purchase anything outside of that. So it saves a lot of money as well to make sure you know and keep track of what you have. Same with toys. Like I know, okay, they have a thousand books. So if they want to buy another book, they have to get one, get rid of one. So it just helps me to stay on track, to not have an abundance of things, because it's not necessary. Your kids grow so fast, and they don't need 20 of the same shirts or just 20 shirts. They'd need less than that. So from this, I will also make a pile for the car. Well, not a pile, but I like to have one or two outfits for the car for each boy, it's just in case one has an accident, um, they get messy or dirty. I like to have a change of clothes in my car. Um, I also like to have a pair of clothes um, downstairs, and I like to, for our parents to both have an outfit or two for each boys. So from this, I'm able to then make the outfits and give them. That way, trust me, I tell you, it saves so much time and energy when it's organized like that. So I also get a stash of, I always give a pack of diapers and a, a little pack of wipes to each family um, so they know what to buy when they have to repurchase. Um, but also, I know that when I'm leaving them there, I don't have to pack and leave a ton of stuff. It just makes it so much easier, especially the more children you have, the better. So, that's my little organizing for today. I feel pretty good about, pretty good about it. I just like coming in here and being able to grab what I need when I need it and know everything is. So, next is going to the bathroom and then I'm gonna do, um, hopefully either tonight or tomorrow I'll start the laundry. I don't know, one of the two, bathroom, my bedroom and then the rest of Christmas out. Do the Christmas tree box down from up in the closet. Put the Christmas tree away. Everything else is put away. I have a big bin and every, all my Christmas stuff fit in it. And if it doesn't fit in it, I get rid of stuff. Like that's what I do. I make sure that I'm in a controlled space. If I don't have like, there's not stuff stuffed under the bed. There's not stuff stuffed under the crib. If you see it, that's all we have and that's the way I like it. I don't want to be like, oh my gosh, we're not going to clean under the bed. You're like what's under the bed? You know? So that's how I like to operate as minimalistic as possible. I'm still nowhere near where I want to be, but I find that once I do these cleanings um, once or twice a month, depending on the month and the craziness, I feel so much better. I know what I'm able to spend, what I'm not able to spend, or what I need to buy, what I don't need to buy, and it just keeps everything cleaner. So when the boys take stuff out, they just put it back. And so I want to teach them those things as well just because it's a team effort here it's a team effort it's not the mommy show they don't live in a hotel so keep it easy for them don't overwhelm them and yourself make it easier for yourself so I'll stop chatting because it's all blah, 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 as Eli would say anyway on to my next room bye guys hey it's me again still cleaning this time I have some under eye patches going on. My Dyson children. I went on my Instagram and I talked about this. Your mom, if you like to, if, you know what, whatever stage of life you're in, you need this Dyson. Best gift I've ever received, honestly. Thank you, Grandma Janet. Um, I use this every day, usually three to five times a day. And I, it remains charged while I vacuum around. It's got amazing power and speed. It's easy to clean. I mean, it's got different attachments. And yes, this is what my life has come to now. Vacuums, under eye patches, mom bun, baby hairs. It's gonna be a good day. Cleaning, organizing. Oh, my beautiful little babies in the back and playing together. 
But yes, I'm also using these for Christmas gifts for my sister from Target. You know, the gold under eye patches. So we will see how these help this mama today. But yeah, this is what I am. Um, I'm not glamming people up or myself. This is real life. This is what I do 90% of the time. Oh, no. That's not a good percentage. But I'm mom even when I'm working, so. My son. He currently has my beauty blender. <laughs> hey, Isaac, can I have that? That's kind of expensive. What? My beauty blender. How did he get that? No, 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 don't take, don't take from him. Oh, don't eat it. No. Quality time with my kids. Hi. Hi. Hold that. Just don't put it in your mouth. Leave him be. Thank you. We'll, we'll yeah. you. See you later, alligator. Now I'm going to put these toys away. It's kind of like the toy room. Oh, hi, Angle and it just hangs on the wall, which I have to just screw back into the box. It fell out because I didn't screw it into the stud. Yeah, that's, that's the kind of smart I am. Okay, so. Let's put in the dresser. More toys. stuff away it's like I try to keep things confined to one room at a time but just <sighs> hey go put those in the toy room please I need thank you then go put them in your room with you next to bed where you're gonna go to sleep Mommy. you do need to go to sleep everybody needs to sleep so I've got another bin of stuff my clothes it's like coming home from Christmas we did Christmas at my dad's and we had such a wonderful time and just you have to go through more stuff though so almost done I'm almost there toys need to stay in the toy room stuff sorry laundry laundry okay this is a transformer okay this says for six and up I understand it's not my son's age my dad and husband 26 and 50 something had a hard time. So, see Bumblebee, he's under there. Cool toy, but it's mainly Danny's toy now. So, toy room. Ooh. All laundry. Laundry, yeah, all laundry. Luggage. Okay, so what I got? Oh. I'm making outfit. Okay, I picked up two things from Ulta when I was there. Um, this witch hazel toner, which I'm super excited to try. I've seen the big bottle at Target, just haven't purchased it yet. And this one is rose petal tone uh, flavor scent. And then I picked up more of my um, this essence slash princess green amazing mascara, four dollars. Like, they are, but you're not allowed to play with them until that until you go fishing. I Mommy doesn't go fishing, only daddy goes fishing, so you have to wait till he gets home. I need to wait till I need these ones. Yes, those are all mine. The pink ones are yours. Yep. Mm -hmm. So those are that. That's right. I'm gonna hold my sponge. Oh you found more makeup. These, these are hey. So swishy. Yeah. Okay, this needs to go into your bedroom. This needs to go into your bedroom. Okay, I'll take um, that to my bedroom. Thank you. Take all that to your bedroom, please. This needs to go to your bedroom. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank oh, you. Why do you put this one? No, those are swim trunks. Yeah. Yeah, you already look really good. You don't need to ruin it. Mommy and Daddy's clothes in here, so this can go into my room to get sorted through. So, 
I promise that these vlogs will get better. I promise. But I just thought I'd invite you into my real life. You're probably like, Kayla, thank you so much for thinking of us and letting us come into your life because it's so glamorous. I'm like, you guys, I know. I just wanted you to see that I'm human too, you know? And I still clean toilets. Just kidding, I have no idea what I'm saying. This needs to go in the boys' room. This needs to go in the room. Okay. So now I'm going to go put this stuff where it needs to go and hopefully get these kids down for a nap. Well, Eli, as they already napped. Oh, I got this awesome charger for Christmas, and it, you just lay your phone on it, and it charges it, <laughs> and it glows. It's so cool. And it's charging. Love it. Okay. Bathroom. Trash. Watch me get up. It's like worse than an elderly person. I got, oh. I'm not even, I'm not gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> the boys, I just worked so hard in that room. I will not lose my temper. I will not lose my temper. I will not lose my temper. <laughs> Trash and I gotta go put these kids to bed. I'll be back. <laughs>